hello and welcome back to my channel everybody oh, if you're new welcome welcome today I will be doing an unboxing of a bag and I will be doing a review a mini review of it just to give you like the quick the inside of the bag look like what the bag feels like and maybe you might be interested in buying this bag well background story we went to Harrods we just went there to London to see my sister so we just popped down to Harrods since there was a sale and in the sale a bag and like it's 2017 why not get yourself a new bag in which I did so this is the bag that we got it in you get the just the bag the Marc Jacobs bag which the lady kindly um, like put it in for me and she was really sweet about it she was um, working at the Marc Jacobs um, section and near the Longchamp section as well like um, if you go downstairs in the Harrods um, store uh, you will go down one floor yeah on the ground floor they have like different kinds of brand like MCM what else is there Longchamp um, they had the Marc Jacobs and they had like loads of different ones and there was like line of sell bags on sale I went on to the I was just looking around and I came across this bag well at first I came across like a crossbody bag, like a smaller version, but it was like in the colour of burgundy and I was like, oh my gosh, but before you see what colour I brought, so have a peek inside. Ooh, indeed I did get a blue one. I was really in love with the burgundy colour, but unfortunately it was too much, I couldn't handle the scratch, like, I don't know, I wanted a bag to be brand new and I didn't like like it that it was scratched. So this is the bag that comes in. This is the one that I got. This is called the West End, I think it's West End Top. So it's got just one handle here. And this is 100%, it says 100% leather. And there's like the lines are silver. But the details in the burgundy one is, and there's a black one also, is in gold. So if you like kind of like the gold statement, then maybe a burgundy or a black one. But I have a lot of black bags, so that's why I didn't get it. And you also get Marc Jacobs written on it here. And you just get like a little bucket and there's the handle from the back. So to get into the bag, we just open this bit like this and then you just flip it up and inside you have three compartments right here so you have a zip compartment and two open compartments and you also get on top here you get like a zip as well and you can put some stuff in there so if you're looking for a bag with lots of pockets and lots of um, places to put your stuff and your item I think this is a really good bag for you I think they have some like pamphlets in here the Marc Jacobs and I believe this is a size small and here's the price tag so it's a red tag of course, it's been discounted many times. So in the pamphlet leaf you get a little like a little care card. Just has some like in Chinese, in all different languages, Japanese, Korean probably. So it does mention that um, it says this Marc Jacob leather product is constructed using natural tamed leather. It is therefore a delicate product and any incidental tonal variation marks or veins on natural features and should not be considered as imperfection. Some materials such as suede and patent leather could colour transfer. Avoid repeating contact with other coloured materials and avoid overexposure to heat and direct light. <laughs> this is why I keep it in this bag when I don't use it in my... To make sure your bag or small leather good remains beautiful for as long as possible, we recommend that this item be handled with special care. As scratches and natural wear can occur, when not in use, stuff and store this accessory in the protective dust bag received with purchase. In order to maintain its appearance, we recommend that you use this item gently. Gently. And avoid overexposure to direct light. Moisture and oily product if the leather goods should... Oops, I put this up. Okay, so 
if you are the person who just puts your bag like anywhere um, probably probably I, I wouldn't recommend because fingerprints can easily like go into the bag the lady the clerk person who was at Mark Jacobs kindly um, cl cleaned it for me which was really really nice of her she was really friendly as well at first I was like oh there's a li li little mark here and she was um, really kind about it she cleaned it for me really easily scratch like I've already got a scratch like here like here but you it's you can't really see it because the color is quite dark it's not too dark but it's quite dark for a small bag, I think it's quite, you can put a lot of things in it. Um, I probably wouldn't take it to uni because I put books and stuff in there and it can get scratched. So maybe just for um, day outs would be nice, special times with your family or friends. We have the strap, the strap here, which is detachable as well. Right side wear it as like a crossbody or on your shoulder or you can hold it normally with the one-handed I like the design because it's like one-handed um, like handbag um, I remember when I showed it to my dad he was like oh great you brought um, a bag that is like not full it's like um, missing like a handle like but it's okay that didn't like I didn't mind that bit really much so you can wear it on the shoulder like this yep like this you can wear it to about like this and then you you can also change the straps like here change the leather you can take that off I haven't got any marks in it so far because I haven't used it yet. So if it's without the leather, it goes to the forward a bit but it's actually not bad. When you have it close to your body, it's okay. Like personally, um, I don't have, I never had like a blue bag. It's very soft and also it's got studs at the bottom here which when you put it on a desk the bottom bit will get destroyed but um, we don't really tend to care about the bottom bit but if you're like maybe investing so that one day you might want to sell it off you might want to see good conditions so this is really all I have for you today just wanted to show like what it looks like um, like what you can get in a Harrod sale if you go and yes so I think the perks of this bag it's it's a very beautiful bag but um, you have to be very careful like to avoid scratching this lovely thing this precious and you just have to take really good care of it because the the fabric like the material is very delicate and I wouldn't recommend people who don't look after their bags to purchase this type of bag. I would say go for something that is the leather that is covered, you know those shiny leather ones and you can hardly get like scratches on those is my recommendation. So I'm just gonna put my bag back, hope it doesn't change colour. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing and the like mini review mini review. I shall see you next time. Thank you for watching.